Final walking involves walking across a bed of embers without frazzling your feet. which is a charity that helps people with eating disorders. They're going to be walking uh, across fire, which is 1,237 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's uh, a really unique experience, something that you only ever get like a once in a lifetime opportunity to do, really. And it's, it's a really unusual feeling. It's really hard to say how it feels. Each person has a different feeling to me, once they've done it. Yeah, it doesn't feel hot, it doesn't feel cold. Or, I mean, everyone had different experiences. Um, but it's going to be fantastic tonight seeing how everyone reacts. We lay out turf, which is, you know, I mean this is turf under us, but we want, wouldn't want to burn your nice field. So we bring our own turf, we build up a fire. Um, the trainer takes the walkers off. Yeah, they have the a two-hour training seminar, yeah. which is the secret. Yeah. <laughs> we, can't, we can't say very much about that at all. Um, other than it gets them in the right mind state to walk across fire. Um, we build up the fire, we burn it down. When they come out, they come out and they do their thing. We walk across it and they get a nice big adrenaline rush at the end of it. We tell everybody the same thing in the training. If they don't want to walk, a member of our team will walk in their place, but in 28 years we've never had anybody back out. Uh, there are a few reasons why we say it's possible. Uh, the first one is the hot potato effect. It's like getting a potato out of the oven and passing it from one hand to the other. You could do that absolutely fine without burning. Whereas if you hold the potato in one hand, it's going to get really hot. So that's one principle. Uh, the second reason is we burn wood. So wood's a good insulator of heat but a bad conductor of heat. And the third reason is the Leyden frost effect, which is some crazy German professor believes that when you're nervous and anxious you sweat and this sweat will build up a barrier and protect yourself against the heat from the fire. I'm just at Firewalk for Beat um, Eating Disorder Charity and it was great uh, in terms of like really good positive experience and like even the only did great. Yeah, <laughs> I want to do it again! <laughs> Um, well, Clarky and I um, organised the event with the help of Helen and Maria and we think it went really well. It was... Um... Um, the trainer really sort of psyched herself up. Uh, it was really sort of really more about what's going on in your head. Giving us lots of positive thoughts and not to dwell on the, uh, the negative things. And so by the time you're ready to do the walk, you're all psyched up and rearing to go. Nothing to worry about. I recommend it to everyone. Amazing. It's the best experience of my life. I want to do it again, definitely. Well, it was hot. It was still hot.